Hi guys, I'm Steve Stemmen and welcome to my first gaming vlog. I know loads of people have done this and it's, um, you know, there's loads out there, but I thought it looks fun to do, so why not? So I'm going to start with a nice easy one, it's just going to be my top 10 favourite video games. Uh, now when I say my top 10 favourite, I don't mean they are the best, it's just my opinion. And even these are the ones I, I can just remember logging a lot of gaming hours on, so I've probably forgotten some, but yeah, enjoy. Okay, so Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. It's uh, starting off with my childhood memory here. This was a great game when I was a kid. I played this for hours. Um, it's also actually kind of what got me into sort of rock music. I guarantee you, anyone who's played this game and it knows the soundtrack is, is brilliant. It's such a great soundtrack. Um, you know, it was, a, it was such a fun game as well, especially if you're like me who didn't um, go outside and skateboard. You know, you just sat indoors, looking really cool on the screen, and thinking, yeah, I can never do that. But no, it was a lot of fun, you know, especially, I must have been, oh, I don't know, 10, maybe 12-ish when this game came out. And looking back now, it's not hard, is it? It's a button mashing game. <laughs> Push enough buttons, you do enough tricks. But no, it was still great fun. and. So, like I said, I, I tried to download the soundtrack with a tape recorder once. <laughs> I enjoyed it that much. And the best thing about this game was that you can be this guy. That was really fun. Anyone who's played this and has been Spider-Man knows the web sling trick. That makes the game. GoldenEye on the N64. Who doesn't love this game? This game was great as a kid. It was, yeah, probably my first shooter game, I think. Maybe I've missed a couple, but yeah, I think I'm pretty sure it was my first shooter game. You know, I'm a 12 year old kid or wherever I was when this came out. James Bond's super cool. This was just so fun. And it was sort of the start of proper 3D gaming. Like, you had the PlayStation as well, but I always found the N64 just that bit more better. I mean,. Graphically, it wasn't always better, but I found it more immersive like this. You can shoot guys in toilets. Who doesn't want to do that? You know, I mean, everybody knows the cheat to get up in the uh, insulation above the toilets. The stupid C left up, down, spin around, do a flip, bloody cheat. But no, this game was great, and it also had a great multiplayer. I think I played it multiplayer more than anything else with, um, you know, family and friends and whatnot. And you can blow people up. That's always fun. You can blow people up so much that the game starts to lag. That was always funny. So yeah, this game was excellent. Okay, this is the as original Assassin's Creed 1. Um, I'm putting this game in here at this place because it's a great game. I mean, if you actually look at the game story and all that, there wasn't much, was there? There was go to this town, find this guy, kill this guy three times in a row, and then, you know, the ending. I won't ruin in case anyone hasn't seen it, but, um, you've been living under a rock. No, but I'm putting this game in my top ten purely because when I bought it, I'd never seen anything so beautiful, really. It was fantastic. The levels were amazing. I loved that you could climb anywhere. Even the field in between uh, towns was just enormous. You could explore things, climb things, jump off things that are ridiculously inhumanly high. And it just looked fantastic. I liked that all the characters sort of said things or begged. I liked that you could kill anyone. I don't mean, I'm not a sociopath, but you know, you could do it if you wanted. I just thought it was a very immersive, very well made, excellent game. Tomb Raider, in this case, anniversary. I'm putting Anniversary in because I was actually quite a late comer to Tomb Raider. Um, I never played the originals. Um, I think what put me off was the graphics, to be honest. They always look terrible and the controls are always faffy. And I don't know, I just never really got into it. But then I played Anniversary and the graphics were a lot better. And I really enjoyed the gameplay. I liked the puzzles, I liked the enemies. Who doesn't like Lara? I mean, they're round there, they're not triangle. Yeah, whatever your preference is. But no, I thought this was a brilliant game. I loved the, the levels, the style, the detail and all that. It was just a fantastic game. Um, 
some other games have been good, but I thought Anniversary should go in the list, so mainly because it has a T-Rex in it. So, T-Rex noise. Moving on. Halo 3. This game's got to go in here. Of all the Halos, I've always found this one the most fun. I don't know why. I can't really explain why. I've loved the story mode on it. I thought the graphics were fantastic. I'm pretty sure they're a big improvement from 2. So, um, but the main reason I'd have to say is probably the multiplayer. I've played Halo 3 multiplayer more than any other Halo. It was just so much fun. The levels were great. The combat was great. Dual weapons. You know. Um, so yeah, of all the Halos, I'd I've probably played this the most. Online and offline, I just, you know, even now, if I'm going to play Halo, I prefer to play this one over the others. I mean, I haven't actually tried the new one yet online, but I've heard it's not that great. So, and, uh, Halo 3 definitely deserves this spot. Yes, I know, I've had to put a Call of Duty game in, but, you know, Modern Warfare 3 is a game I have played a lot. I'm not saying it's a great game, it's, you know, it's pretty easy, it's not a real gamer's game, is it? Just point and shoot of things. But, um, I don't know, I've logged a lot of game hours on it. When you're bored and you can't think of anything to do and you can't be bothered to use your brain, it's a nice monging out game. You can just sit down, shoot people, level up, you feel good. So yeah, it gets a spot, just for the amount I've played it. When I'm bored, it's there. I can shoot other morons. Minecraft, this is a great game. A lot of people find it boring, you know, just building stuff and lock stuff down. But no, if you get into it, it's actually really good, especially when you go online with a lot of friends. Um, you know, we got a server going at the minute where some of my mates have a stupid new castle. I've built a volcano with a track that goes completely underground and god knows where. I've just started an underground sea, you know, there's loads of stuff. I mean, look at this. This is just a wall made out of bricks and they've made that. So you can make some really cool stuff in Minecraft. I think that's one of the reasons I like it actually, it's not what I'm doing, it's to look at what other people are doing. I mean, just Google some of the servers, some of them are just fantastic. These people obviously have no lives, but they're fantastic. Look at this. It's just a little sneak preview of uh, what I love there, so... I guess this is what number one's gonna be. But we'll get to that later. SCP Containment Breach. This is a small independent game. You can download it online for free. I'll put a link in the description. It's, you know, not the best graphically game in the world. It's, it's um, you know, it's a beta game, I think, or is it Alpha now? Either way, it's fantastic. It's really scary, actually. I mean, if you haven't got one thing coming after you, you've got another thing. Every time you blink, something's in your face trying to snap your neck. Music's intense. The levels you get, you just get lost. Uh, you know, things chase you. It's a very, very scary game. And I'm not usually scared by horror games, but you know, this is is a good one. So this gets a nice high spot. Amnesia. I'm sure loads of people have heard of this game by now. This is just amazing. This game. I mean, it's so terrifying and I can't put my finger on why I mean I think it's because there's no weapons you just have a lamp and if you see something coming you either run or you hide that's your choices or die I guess so yeah I mean the things that chase you you just don't want to be caught it's, and the music as well the music just is terrifying as well the le it's extremely well done I mean the levels are fantastic the graphics are great the gameplay is great um, it's a bit like uh, Skyrim the gameplay but no, if you haven't played it yet, I urge you, download it, pop some headphones on, sit on your own, and just play it just for 10 minutes, and you'll want to turn it off. But, that, you know, it's a, it's a fantastic game. Okay, so, for anyone who knows me, this won't come as any surprise, but it's Zelda at number one. Specifically, Arena of Time. And actually Majora's Mask. I'm going to put them together, so uh, if you don't like it, tough. But both of these games are going to my number one spot. I've logged more hours on both of these than any other game. Zelda Ocarina of Time is just one of my favourite games. It was so good when it came out. 
it was, you know, it was one of the first games that was properly 3D. You could explore anywhere you wanted. You could talk to anyone. You had puzzles to figure out. The, the temples were amazing. The enemies were amazing. Some of the enemies were really scary. Some of the enemies were really terrifying. But, you know, as a whole, this game just had everything. The story was great. The weapons were great. You know, you could do small side quests. And it was just a lot of fun. Um... And the Jorah's Mask came along soon after, and it was everything that Ocarina of Time was, but it sort of had a dark twistedness to it. Like, you know where you are, but you're in a nightmare version of it. I mean, I'm going as Deku Link to a, a Comic Con thing we're going to in England, so that's going to be a fun costume. But um, no, Majora's Mask had a sort of dark feeling about it. I mean, there's that moon for a start, which you know is going to kill everyone if you don't stop it. And everyone's kind of ignorant about it. That they all sort of know as well, and it's just a very sad, very dark game. But you know, it's still got everything you loved from the first one in it. So Zelda: Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask definitely go in my number one spot. Okay, guys. Well, that was my top ten. I uh, hope you liked it. Leave any comments in the comments box below, and uh, also suggest what you want me to do on this uh, gaming channel. I mean, I could review some games. I think I'll, I'll play some games. I might show you some of my Minecraft stuff. Anything you want, really. Um, I'll just see how it goes for now. Yeah. I'm hoping to do this weekly, but... Uh, we'll see on that one. Till then, see you later. Mm -hmm.